Hi, my name is Garth Fort, and I am a Human Resources Specialist here at Contoso Incorporated. We already use SharePoint and even have our own site in place. One thing we found, though, is that SharePoint is just a platform, and it doesn't solve any of our particular business problems. We have spent a considerable amount of time trying to develop our own solution, but we've been struggling. We tried getting the IT team to help, but they are already overworked and don't have any time. We thought about hiring a professional services firm to develop a custom solution for us, but were shocked at the cost. We then found the Portal Integrator's Human Resources solution, and were excited to find out that we could install it ourselves without involving IT. Installing it ourselves is important because our IT department is very busy. They continually tell us that the whole point of SharePoint is to give us control so that we don't have to continually flood them with requests. The Human Resources solution solves our specific business problems and leverages SharePoint in order to let us install and control it ourselves. All I need in order to install it is administrative access to our SharePoint site. I already have that, so let me show you how it works. The first thing you want to do is navigate to your company portal where you want to install the Human Resources solution. I get really tired of trying to remember all of my different logins to different systems. I already logged into my work computer, so why should I have to remember more passwords? Since SharePoint is integrated with the rest of the IT infrastructure, it already knows who I am, as you can see here. You install the solution from the Site Settings page. You can access it by clicking on the Site Actions button and then selecting Site Settings like this. A tricky thing about SharePoint is that a site collection is a parent site and can contain child sites. You can think of a site collection as the top level site, but it is still a site. You access the site settings page the same way for both a site collection or a site. The site settings page contains links to all of the configuration pages for this site. Notice that under the gallery section there is a link called solutions. Note that if you are not on the site settings page for the site collection, then you won't see the solutions link. Click the solutions link to open the solutions page. This is the page where you upload your SharePoint solutions. In this case, you can see that I don't have any solutions installed yet. The list of solutions is blank. What I need to do is upload the Portal Integrator's Human Resources solution that I purchased and downloaded in the previous video. Click on the Solutions tab up in the ribbon to activate the Solutions ribbon. This is a little tricky since it already looks like the Solutions tab is the active tab. Just click it again to activate the functionality in the ribbon like this. Next, I need to upload the Human Resources Solution to the site. I click the Upload Solution button and then browse to the file that I downloaded from Portal Integrators. Once the solution has been uploaded, I click the Activate button to activate the solution for the site collection. Another tricky thing with SharePoint is that activating a solution for a site collection only makes it available for any site within the site collection. In other words, it does not actually install the functionality. The next thing we need to do is activate the Human Resources solution for our particular site. Note that this can be any site contained within the site collection, including the site collection site itself. You activate the Human Resources solution for a particular site on the Site Settings page. Navigate to the Site Settings page by clicking the Site Actions and then selecting Site Settings from the drop-down menu. Under the Site Actions grouping, click the link Manage Site Features. Notice that Portal Integrator's Human Resources Foundation solution is available for activation. Click Activate to install the solution for this site.
SharePoint solutions take a little bit of time to activate. We can see that it's working though from the spinning icon in our browser setting here. Once it's finished, SharePoint lets us know that it is active with this blue icon next to the solution here. The Human Resources solution adds a number of different configuration pages that we can see by going back to the site settings. Under the Site Administration link, we have New Position Management, Recruiting Task Management, Onboarding Task Management, Components Management, and Departments Management. Those will be explored in the next video on configuration. In addition, you can see three new sections in the local navigation. In particular, we have a recruiting section, an onboarding section, and an employee database. To learn more about the functionality of the Human Resources Solution, check out some of the other videos on the site. And that is all there is to installing the Human Resources Solution. Since every company is different, you will need to configure the solution for the specifics of your organization. Configuring the solution will be covered in the next video.